Are you using sponsored display ads on Amazon yet? If not, this video is for you because I'm going to be going over seven different strategies in sponsored display ads, and I'm going to give you a, a complete walkthrough on how to use each of them and if you should use each of them. Amazon PPC may seem like a complex subject, but it doesn't have to be. Hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell to be notified whenever we come out with great brand building videos and videos on Amazon PPC. Hey there, I'm Dr. Travis Ziegler, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure you hit that bell or hit the subscribe button down below and then hit the little bell to be notified whenever we come out with great Amazon PPC videos and just general Amazon videos as well. We come out with a weekly video every single Monday, so make sure you hit that bell and subscribe to that channel down below. So let's jump in. Today I'm actually going to be sharing my screen and walking you through everything with sponsored display ads. Now, at the time of this recording, it is September of 2021. Most videos that are on this are actually a lot older. And so you're going to get the latest and greatest and you're even going to see some things that you might not have in your account because my account, we spend so much money that we get access to features before they come out to the general public. And we're kind of in a beta mode with our campaigns as well. So let me switch over to my screen and we'll jump right in. So here we are inside my campaign manager. Now you can see we're the last 30 days, we've spent $7,500 to make about $15,600 with an ACOS of about 47%. Now, sponsored display is a very small part of our entire segment, usually about, uh, I'd say 10%, if not less. We actually have about 12 products suspended right now, so our spend is usually down. We're actually usually up around 120 to 130 per month, but you can see it's only about 10% of our total um, spend. And so we don't spend a lot. Now, some of you guys might be saying, oh my gosh, 60% ACOS. We actually go for about an 80 to hundred percent ACOS because it's all about acquiring the customer. We're in the consumable space and we know our lifetime value. So we actually go for 80 to 90%, which is a little worse than break even. So we actually lose a little bit of money on the front end, but we make up for it in the end. So that's kind of tip number one with Amazon PPC in general is if you are in the consumable space, it's okay to lose a little bit of money up front because if your product is good enough, they're going to come back and buy more. So know your numbers really well. We have about a 48% repeat customer rate. And with that 48% repeat customer rate, our lifetime value is about $342. And so we know that, which is why we go for a higher ACOS. So let's jump into what you came here for, which is the sponsored display ads. And we're going to come over here, hit create campaign. By the way, ignore whatever they're saying over there because it's usually just a big waste of money. And we're going to come over here to sponsor display ads. And this is advertising for both audiences on and off Amazon. So let's just jump right in. I'm not going to do that. Anything up here. Um, we're going to come right down here into the targeting. So the targeting is where sponsored display ads lies. Like this is where you can kind of choose your options. Now you're probably doing sponsored products, product targeting which is sponsored product, product targeting. Let's just jump over here to a listing real quick. So a sponsored product, product targeting is going to be down here, right here. So these are all sponsored. This is sponsored product, product targeting. Now there's also sponsored display product targeting as well. So we can actually choose specific products or categories to target your ads. And so spon sponsored display product targeting ads show up right here. So you can see this is one of our own products on one of our own products. Then this is somebody else advertising against us. And then there are some other placements around the listing as well that you'll see some sponsored display product targeting as well. But you'll want to run these for every single one that you have a sponsored product, product targeting. So if you have a list of ASINs that you've pulled from your search term report or a list of ASINs you want to go after, make sure you upload sponsored product, product targeting, and then come into here into sponsored display product targeting. This is one of the best ads that you can run in sponsored display. I'm going to show you an even better one that spends most of our money and makes most of our money, but product targeting is just a great way to protect your own listings. Like I said, this is, this is our brand. And then this is a second brand that we have, and we're advertising on our own brand to protect it, to move other people out of this area. So just keep that in mind. So sponsored product, product targeting ads, whatever ASINs you're going after with those, also do it in sponsored display product targeting ads. So that's pretty easy. Um, what you'll do here is then, you know, pick your product. And what I like to do is optimize for conversions. So these two viewable impressions and page visits, these are going to be more top of funnel. And so they'll, they'll optimize it for higher viewable impressions. So Amazon's kind of getting in the Facebook game here. So Facebook has three different types of people, people that just sit on their, their phone and just scroll. Those are impressions. They're just going to, they're just going to see it. 
There are people that click and go to your landing page. Those are viewers. And then there are people that convert. And so Amazon has these three buckets just like Facebook does. And so you always want to optimize for conversions. I don't see any reason that you should go after impressions or page visits unless you're a big company with a big budget and you just want to show your brand more so people get more familiar with your brand. Think of Coca-Cola has billboards everywhere. They sponsor everything. That's all because you just keep top of mind, but they're also a multi-billion dollar company and they have the budget to spend on something like that. So always optimize for conversions with your default bid. It's going to depend on your category. I can't give you an exact default bid, but when you come down here, so you can do category targeting with sponsored display ads. I don't recommend that just because it's so broad and you're going to be after going after so many ASINs. What I actually like to do is do one ASIN per product targeting ad. And so I'll come into here into individual products. I'll put, I'll enter the ASIN right here and then I'll bet, bid usually what I got from my search term report or I'll bid whatever it suggested. And so that's just something to keep in mind. It also gives you some suggested ones as well. And these are also helpful too. So you can come out with a bunch of these as well, but I like to get it from my search term report and pull those ASINs and then put them into here. And then I'll change that bid. I'll actually take this out, just do that ASIN and I'll apply the bid that's suggested, or I'll even go a little higher because we know that ASIN is good because we pulled it from our search term report. If you don't haven't pulled your search term report, go after your top competitors. So if I'm in here and let's say my main keyword is, let's just switch to a different product, eyelid wipes. Maybe you'll want to target your top competitors. And so you can see we're number one and two, um, but so we're number four organically. Maybe we'll target these three to really get impression share. So let's just go into here and I'll do a sponsored product and a product targeting, or excuse me, sponsored product, product targeting ad and a sponsored display product targeting ad to take up more space. So we're not currently winning that. Let's go down to the sponsored product area. You can see we are number one and two for both of those. You can see just this company is starting to come in a little strong, which is why they're beating us out right now. So let's go to number two. This is number two organically. They're getting a lot of click share. We're not currently winning that sponsored display product targeting ad, but you can see we're number one, number one, number three, and then number six right here. So sponsored products, tar product targeting ads are working really well. I know this is a mouthful, but stick with me and we are winning this one. So that's our product right there. That's a sponsored display product targeting ad. And then finally down here, we're number two and three, two and three. All right. So that's pretty much it for sponsored display product targeting ads. Just a brief summary, go after one ASIN per campaign. That way you can really optimize it. Always optimize for conversions, get that bid up because you know, it converts. Let's jump over here to audiences. So this is uh, this is a little bit more fun, I think. Um, and there's four different options here. Views remarketing is just somebody that's been on your ad or even someone that's been on an ad or on, excuse me, views remarketing is someone that's been on your product page and they didn't purchase or somebody that's been on your, your opponent or your competitor's product page and didn't purchase. So you're remarketing to them across the web, both on and off Amazon. Key thing with this one is um, bid low because you're going to spend a lot of money with this. Remarketing is very tough um, and it's just going to cost a lot more money. Now, the second one in here, Amazon ads, same uh, Amazon audiences, same thing. Bid low with a low budget. Keep these separated out. And so we'll pick our product again and we'll come down here. Always optimize for conversions. And so here are the audiences. So Similar to advertised products, it's just what I talked about before. This is your competitor. They've been on your competitor page, but they didn't buy, and now you're remarketing to them. So it's a pretty pretty powerful way to retarget people that have been on your competitor page, and it's in the last 30 days. But it can be very pricey because they're not familiar with your brand yet. They've been on your competitor's page. And then you can actually go on just your page. And so that's this one right here. If they've been on your page but didn't buy, you can actually get them to come back and buy based on this remarketing strategy. So there's two different ones. I don't like putting them together. I like to separate them out. And so what I'll do is I'll actually close this and then just do maybe remarketing to my competitors. So that's competitor conquesting, or I'll just do remarketing to the ones that have been on my page, which is gonna be a lot higher ROAS, lower ACOS. So keep that in mind. And then finally, you can take both of those out and just do audiences. So there's your views remarketing. You can do these. So those are the two I just showed you or we can do Amazon audiences. So 
this again is going to get very expensive. So start out with low bids and low budgets and scale from there. That's the key thing. So let's just say we have a pregnancy brand. You can come in here or maybe a baby brand. You can come in here, lifestyles, family, and then new or expectant parents or people that are doing baby registries or parents with children in their household. This is extremely powerful to be able to target people that Amazon knows are parents because of the, the products that they're buying on Amazon. It could even be grandparents that are buying gifts and everything. So that's something to really keep in mind is really focusing on that. Travel and commute. So we could upcoming leisure travelers, international travelers. So these are people that Amazon knows are traveling. And so you can advertise your traveling products for these people. Again, start out with low bids and low budgets to really make sure you take advantage of that. And then you can customize the creative, but you can see here, the creative shows your coupon code or your coupon, which is great. And it also has the price with the coupon. So it shows it a little lower price. So that's great. So let's go all the way back up. Now, one of my favorites, actually, let's, go, let's save my, save the best for last searches. This is shoppers who search for keywords relevant to your advertised products. So I showed you eyelid wipes earlier. If Amazon finds other people that have searched for eyelid wipes, or if they've typed in words that are associated with eyelid wipes, then they're going to show your ads on and off Amazon again. Again, this is going to be very expensive. So low budget, low bid. Now it's not much different setup from the other ones. And so you can just see, you kind of just put a bid there, but you can actually see right here how many impressions you're going to get. So we're going to get two to 10,000 impressions based on a dollar bid. And then if you just kind of change the bid, you can see this changes and it will probably go up or down as a result. So now we're going to get three to 13,000. So that's searches again, low budget, low bid. I would not work on, I would not worry about that too much. Purchases. This is my favorite and you probably don't have access to this because this is in beta mode still. So this is people that have previously purchased your advertised product but they haven't come back and purchased again. And so you are actually advertising to them. Same thing. I like to do a little higher budget for this one. This one actually works really well. And you can see, depending on how big, how many sales your product has will depend on the range here. So this is one of our best sellers, 12 to 62,000 reach on a $2 bid. And you can see bigger isn't always better. This one actually, it is better. So 18 to 90,000 and the results are above our current budget. So we'd have to go up this one. You can again, start with a low bid, low budget, but I'd recommend a little higher for this one. And so don't be afraid to push this one a little bit more because these are people that have already purchased your product. So they're very familiar with your brand. They're what we call hot leads, very bottom of the funnel. And so the rest of this is kind of more middle to even top of funnel. And then this one is audiences purchases is way at the bottom of the funnel. And so you can bid a little bit more and be a little more successful with this. And you know, that's kind of sponsored display ads in a nutshell on Amazon. The key thing with this, and I want you to just take away one thing from this video. If, if you're going to take away one thing, this showed you how to set everything up. But the one thing I want you to take away is if you have not maximized sponsored product ads, focus all your energies on that, because like you saw in, in our campaign, hundred thousand in ad spend over the past 30 days. And 7% of that is sponsored display. The rest is sponsored products mostly and a little bit of sponsored brands as well. So sponsored products is still our main focus, even though we're spending a hundred thousand dollars sponsored display helps and it kind of expands our brand, but sponsored products is what you need to be focusing on. So if you have any questions, make sure you put them down in the comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this video. And if you haven't yet taken our free Amazon PPC masterclass, I'll put that down in the comments down below as well. Amazon PPC may seem like a complex subject, but it doesn't have to be. And that is why we created this channel on top of Amazon PPC. We're going to share different tactics and strategies that we've used to build a multi-million dollar business, as well as the strategies that we're using to build a $100 million company, which is our goal. We don't know how we're going to get there yet, but that's our goal. And we want to take you along for the ride. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell to be notified whenever we come out with great business building and the Amazon PPC strategies.